Let's turn now to our weather because this morning we do continue to transition out of the weather pattern known as El Nino. You've probably heard of that and transition now into La Nina. Well, meteorologist Lauren Rainson is joining us live now here to tell us more about these two weather patterns and how they can impact us right here at home in our state. So we often look at these larger scale patterns to give us a pretty good idea of what we can expect right here at home across the desert southwest. And yes, you've been hearing the terms El Nino and La Nina, and now we're beginning to switch into La Nina. And once you have that set up, typically those trade winds are now becoming a bit stronger, and that's going to help all that below normal water temperatures across the eastern Pacific to really come together. And this is going to help shut down those reoccurring showers and storms across the southwest and the west coast. And now as a result, we are going to be trending drier and warmer than normal. This will likely delay that overall onset of monsoon 2024. And another thing we are looking at, the soil moisture. It's above normal all across the state. So that's likely going to delay the onset of high pressure. And when you think about high pressure, usually you're thinking of sunny skies, fair weather days, but here in the desert southwest, high pressure helps to transport that moisture here and that fuels our showers and storms. So because of La Nina in place and the above normal soil moisture across Arizona, we are likely going to see a later start to the monsoon. So don't be surprised if it's going to take longer into the summer months before we see those showers and storms on a more regular basis.